we created two models to help demonstrate. One of these sailboats has no brush and is a standard sailboat. The other sailboat has brush-like hairs, which is the deionizing brush, much like the one we have on board Athena. So we're going to hit both of these with electricity. And to do that, what we're going to use is a Tesla coil. Uh, invented by Nikola Tesla in 1891, it's an electrical resonant transformer that takes electricity and converts it by raising the voltage and lowering the current, raising the voltage and creating lightning on the top. The Tesla coil takes standard house current, runs it through the neon sign transformer, which then up converts that to a series of capacitors the capacitors raise the voltage to 40,000 volts, two of them in parallel, which is then transmitted to the primary coil. The primary coil is, in, is magnetically inducted. There's no actual coupling, but they're magnetically inducted to the secondary coil. The secondary increases the voltage from 40,000 volts to about 750,000 volts, where it goes to a toroid, and the toroid takes the energy and dissipates it off into space. We will direct that when we get into our experiments by using what's called a breakout point. We're going to use this device to strike both of these boats. We'll set up the Tesla coil so that it's equidistant from each of these mass points and we'll run tests and we'll see who gets hit more. Not sure who will, but you're gonna be with us and we're gonna, we're gonna find out. Lightning is fun. Okay, we're, uh, we're going to fire up the Tesla coil and zap some sailboats, one with lightning medication, one without. Well, to make it more exciting, don't we need some Molotov cocktail ingredients? Just <laughs> wrap the thing. we've run our experiments and what did we find? Well, you've seen some of the video footage that we've provided and we've had some additional opportunity to do some empirical counting of our own to see which boat was getting hit more. In general, they were pretty close. There wasn't much of a difference between the boat with the deionization brush and the one without. In fact, all, we did find that the boat with the deionization brush did have a few less strikes. Um, it's hard to say that if our tests were actually representative of actual conditions that we would meet, but we tried to do the best we could with what we have. The difference appeared to be about 10% uh, between the boat that had the deionization brush and the one that didn't. Slightly better 
And better is, is certainly not an all or nothing prospect, but it's better th than the boat next door, perhaps, that doesn't have a deionization brush. So we'll go with that um, and we'll ask for your input as well. Have you run any tests? Let us know. Do you have any reports to suggest one way or the other? Let's start up a, a comment thread down below and your opinions are welcome too. That's it for this episode. We hope to see you on an upcoming episode of Accidental Judd. We'll see you soon on the water.